Hey everyone, Chloe here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So today's video is about settling and why women, particularly black women, settle for less or why women try to turn dating and relationship crumbs into a whole meal or why women try to turn potential, which means that a man is not doing it into a relationship or why women try to force feed men into becoming something that they aren't. And settling is pretty common with women amongst women for so many reasons. Uh, sometimes women are inexperienced with dating. Sometimes women are not aware of the games and the mind tricks that men play. Sometimes women are motivated by their biological clock. Uh, that is a huge one. Uh, most times women are not taught the value of a high value man or even how to spot a high value man. Uh, sometimes women do not understand how masculine they are as women. Uh, sometimes women are very, very late to the hypergamous train. And most times women who go dumpster diving and who settle for less often struggle with low self-esteem and low self-worth. And the main reasons why women struggle uh, with dating and men and marriage will always boil down to a woman's level of confidence, her ability to execute her femininity and her ability to tap into her worth and to execute her worth. Now, worth is a funny, funny thing because a lot of people are duped into believing that worth or value is determined by outsiders and by perfect strangers and by the people in our families and by the people who we love and cherish. And it is a huge falsehood or trick that a lot of women fall for because worth as cliche as it sounds, is determined from within. And unfortunately, way too many women are not raised with the conditioning to believe that they can have the life that they want or that they have manifest power or that they are the creators of their own happiness. And too many women are conditioned to believe that validation from others is what will bring them the life of their dreams. And a lot of women hold their breaths and they wait and they wait and they wait for this outside validation and it never comes. Uh, the truth is ladies and lurkers who are listening, only you have the power to manifest what you want out of your life, okay? Manifest is just a shortcut for creating, okay? And sadly, uh, mothers do not make their daughters aware of their own creative uh, superpowers. A lot of women struggle with men who are unworthy because they see themselves as unworthy and they will remain with men who are unworthy because a lot of women use broken men as a hiding place. Uh, why? Because a lot of women truly feel undeserving and a lot of women are fearful of success because with success comes being attacked. And a lot of women are committed to the script of normalized dysfunction because it is familiar. But the only way to stop selling for less, ladies, is to work on your self-worth day and night and night and day until it becomes second nature. Now, I wanted to talk briefly about low self-esteem and low self-worth because it is something that many women struggle with, particularly black women, uh, especially in dating and relationships and marriage, particularly with black women uh, who are conditioned to expect singleness and single dumb and are conditioned to be manless. And black women are conditioned to accept uh, accomplishments and accolades as a substitute for self-esteem and self-worth. And this will be very triggering for some women to hear, but many black women, unfortunately, uh, confuse and conflate having a college degree uh, with self-esteem and self-worth. And a lot of women confuse and conflate having success or independence with high self-worth and high self-esteem. And I will always make the distinction on my channel is a very important distinction, ladies, that accomplishment, okay, and self-esteem and worth are not one and the same. Uh, accomplishment is great. You know, your girl Chloe has three college degrees, including a master's degree, but degrees, and I have to say this, have nothing to do with worth. Uh, worth in its simplest form is what you say you are worth. So if a woman says that she wants a blunt, and a Big Mac from McDonald's and some Netflix and chill. And the next woman says that she wants dinner at a four star restaurant. And the next woman wants a helicopter ride as a first date. Then all three are right because worth is based on what we believe we deserve. And worth is also connected to what we are willing to ask for. Uh, there are so many women 
with PhDs and master's degrees who have money in the bank, who get with low value men and unaccomplished men and men who lack ambition and drive because although highly educated, many women have low self-worth and even lower expectations for what they believe they deserve. So if college degrees gave women self-esteem, then women wouldn't have such low standards when it comes to dating and marriage and men. And this is why hypergamy is such an important movement and why you need to subscribe to this channel because women need to understand how important it is to tap into and to speak life into your worth because increasing your self-esteem and your self-worth will take you much, much further in life than any college degree ever will. So, Let's start by defining low self-esteem and low self-worth to a degree, right? Low self-esteem is basically a person who has a low opinion of themselves that is tied into a narrative or a story of being unworthy and undeserving. And for the most part, uh, people with low self-esteem and low self-worth do not have it written on their foreheads, but the truth will always come out with the people that we are willing to build a life with, right? the people that we are willing to start relationships with and create relationships with, right? And unfortunately, uh, low self-esteem and low self-worth uh, are pretty common amongst women. Uh, low self-worth is our response to low self-esteem and low self-worth is when a person either uh, sells themselves short or offers themselves up to a low value person due to a lack of having standards. Now, people who struggle with low self-worth are often very critical of themselves and they are often very critical of others as a mask to cover up their own insecurity and low self-worth. And people with low self-worth often struggle with stuckness and being stuck and self-forgiveness. Now, I am a firm believer that low self-esteem and low self-worth at their core uh, begin in your childhood or your family of origin, and then rinse, wash, and repeat, a generational curse is born. So by the time a young woman is an adult, instead of being armored with confidence and feminine charm and worthiness, right? and the belief in her limitlessness, she instead has a poor foundation by which to stand on, to believe in herself and to manifest and to attract the abundance that life has to offer. And when a woman lacks the tools of high worth and esteem, she is inclined to go dumpster diving. And when a woman goes dumpster diving, she is basically uh, taking chances with her life and hoping for the best. And this is otherwise known as not having a plan. And not having a plan is the other number one reason why women go dumpster diving because they do not know who they are or what they want and they do not know their worth because they've never determined it. And when you do not know your worth, ladies, or who you are, that is the equivalent of looking for love in the dark. And low self-esteem and low self-worth sustained over long periods of time creates deep-seated negativity like envy and bitterness and self-righteousness and self-sabotage and rage and the very, very powerful and not talked about often uh, toxic emotion of resentment. And unfortunately, uh, many women are very, very resentful. Now, before I discuss a few generic solutions, I need to address the people who are always asking me to make videos to address their specific problem or their specific issue, or they want tips or how-tos, and that is a trap that I refuse to fall into because the women and the viewers and the lurkers who listen to my channel are not one size fits all. Uh, some women are older, some are in their 30s, some are teenagers, some are single, some are married, some are in a different tax bracket, some have kids, some are from different cultures and are of different nationalities, some struggle with infertility, some women have lots and lots of kids, they are overwhelmed, some women hate kids. Some women are with 50-50 men, some women have high confidence, some women have low confidence. So for my listeners, please keep in mind that specific tailor-made advice cannot be turned into generic advice. Now, as for solutions for dumpster diving, uh, generically, stop entertaining broke men, get some standards, write down some goals, and write down the things that you want to accomplish and then execute. Uh, executing is huge, is huge, ladies, when it comes to getting uh, things done in life. So if you are in, um, if you are uh, an emotionally broken, uh, if you are emotionally broken, 
and you need healing for your abuse or your childhood trauma or your childhood neglect, uh, speak to a professional, uh, cry it out, get a journal and heal the broken little girl inside of you because without healing her, you will, you will be, you will feel like damaged goods and you will never feel worthy of being hypergamous. Uh, another solution is to learn how to problem solve and to learn how to shift your mindset from focusing on problems this is a huge one, ladies, and shifting your mindset towards focusing on solutions. And this in and of itself will make you a winner and will make you stand apart from the herd because most people and most women cannot drop their stuckness or their addiction to being victims. And finally, uh, get committed to putting yourself first because putting yourself first instead of that dusty that you keep entertaining creates miracles. So that's all I have to say on this for now. Dumpster diving is what women do when they don't know who they are or what they want. And the only thing that you're going to find in a hypogamous dumpster is a low value man who has nothing to give. Uh, as a solution, learn how to manifest, write down your goals and your dreams and your standards and con and commit to them every day and learn how to accept that dusties will be dusties and your life will change for the better. So stay tuned for more videos to come and I will catch up with you in the next one.